All right, now recently, Samsung released One UI 6.1 upgrade with all the brand new AI features for most of the recent Samsung Galaxy phones. And with this upgrade, they removed the older version of Smart Select feature, and then they added this brand new version. We have got this icon on the edge panel, and we can execute this in multiple ways. We can just tap on that icon to get this frame here on the screen. The AI will screen the contents which is available on the screen, and it will suggest some options. For that, we need to select a portion of the screen, and that is when we get these contents contextual menu options here depending on the content that we have on the screen. Now with this update and with this brand new feature, Samsung removed a very important and essential uh, feature called GIF creation which is used by many users on Samsung Galaxy phones. Now that is when a lot of us expressed our concerns about uh, this feature being removed. Uh, recently there was a post where the moderator confirmed that the GIF creation feature will be back on the Galaxy phones in the month of September or October. And now it has been confirmed. Sam Mobile has shared an article where uh, they have mentioned, uh, they have shared a screenshot in fact, which shows the update change log. Let me just scroll through this article. You can see this is the change log they have shared here. This is the screenshot of the update. Now this update is being released in phased manner. Uh, I did not get this update yet on my phone, but I was very excited to share this information with you guys so that you can go to the Galaxy store and check if you have got this update or not and let me know in the comment section. Of course, once I get the update, I will keep you guys posted. Now in this video, let me share the change log here and let you know what exactly is coming your way along with the uh, create animation or GIF option. Before we go ahead and take a look at the change log, if you're interested in watching these kind of contents, if you want to stay updated with everything that is happening around your phone, be sure to subscribe to the channel. There will be a lot of different contents I'll be sharing, a lot of tips and tricks, update related videos, Android apps, Galaxy Watch related videos, Galaxy Tab related videos. So you will get to learn a lot on the channel. Go ahead, subscribe and give this video a like if you find this video informative. And and if you're interested in this wallpaper, I will leave a link for that in the description. Now let's go ahead, let me show you the change log here. Now I don't see the version number here. Let me just tell you what exactly is coming looking at this change log. The first one is you can now create animations or GIFs which we have seen in the past. We have already discussed about this in the past and now we are getting this feature back. Along with that, there are a few more changes which are happening, which are mentioned over here. Second one is the pin feature is now available directly from the toolbar after selecting an area. Let me break this down for you. Now let's activate uh, the smart select feature here. Now let me select a portion of the screen. Now when we select this, as you can see, the contextual menu options are here, but we don't see pin option. To find the pin, we have to tap on this three dot button. This is where we get this pin option. We can tap on pin to pin this particular portion of the screen and then refer the screenshot and do whatever you want. Let's say you want to copy the text from this or let's say you want to refer this for some calculations. You can use it. You can open the calculator and do that here. Likewise, you can use this pin options for various different purposes. Now, let me just close this up. Let me open the screenshot again. It says the pin feature is now available directly from the toolbar after selecting an area, which means we don't have to tap on the three dot button. The pin feature will be available right there directly from the toolbar itself. So maybe they are going to place it uh, somewhere over here. Uh, somewhere here itself, you will be seeing that pin button. Let's wait and see. Let me update you as soon as we get the updates. Now the second one says you can now drag the selected area to adjust the position. Let me uh, demonstrate this to you again. Let's activate smart select. Now let me select a portion of the screen here. Now if I want to drag this portion, we can't really do it, but we could do that on the older version of smart select. Now if I try to drag this, you see, it just goes away and again, uh, it gets selected, a portion of the screen gets selected. Now let's say I select this, I can't really drag this. So uh, this is an issue here. We of course can use the edges here to uh, resize this particular portion, but we can't really drag or reposition that particular portion. So that is an issue. So that will also be fixed. Now let's go back. The fourth one says the touch range has been modified to make it a little easier to adjust the selected area. So here the touch range means uh, when we touch the screen here to select something, the area gets selected. Probably this has got something to do with this. Maybe they are going to improve the touch area here. Like you can see when I touch in different areas, it selects a portion of the screen and sometimes it may not be something which you want to select. So the new update might improve this particular feature. Now apart from this, it also says you can draw an outline around the area to select it, but you can also simply touch the area you want to quickly and uh, that's all it is mentioned here. I will explain this to you as and when we get the update. For now, it is confirmed that we are going to get all these uh, changes here along with GIF or animation creation feature, which will get added to the new smart select based on AI. Now as per 
Sam Mobile, the GIF creation option could be contextual depending on the uh, content on the screen. That option may show up, which is actually not good. It should be constant. It should be there always whenever we need it. Like most of these menu options that we see, uh, these are all contextual uh, depending on what we have on the screen. It will show up. Sometimes the sketch to image option may not show up. Sometimes the uh, copy text may not show up. So it all depends. Uh, I would rather say instead of integrating this with AI, they should give us all the menu options that are possible and it should remain constant for everything that we select. Why not just throw all the options on this three dot button? We can just tap on that and have everything here in a menu. We don't have too many options or too many features here they might as well throw everything here on just one menu or they can just accommodate all those options right here. Now having AI integrated in these kind of feature is kind of tricky because sometimes we may not get the option we desire. It is always contextual. That is something which I don't like. You let me know what are your thoughts about this. Do you prefer AI integration in these kind of features with contextual menus? Do you want to see all the options available right here whenever you activate this feature? Drop a comment and let me know. Do share your thoughts in the comment section. Now, this is something which I wanted to share with you guys. Even though we don't have the update yet, I'm uh, keeping you posted that you will be getting this update soon. Keep checking the Galaxy Store, the update section. You might have already got it. If you have got it, do let me know in the comment section. Whenever you get it, drop a comment on my latest video. I will also keep checking for this update and I will keep you guys posted as soon as we receive it and demonstrate all these features, all these new options that we are going to get with this update. That's about it. Thanks for watching. Hope you have already subscribed to the channel. If you haven't done it already, go ahead, do it. Hit the subscribe button and give this video a like if you find this video informative. Thanks for watching. My name is Salian signing off. Cheers. Bye-bye.